everyone and welcome back to the Miss Earth round page. We are back once again for a very special live interview with one of the most in demand and popular contestants for Miss Earth 2020. By the way, my name is Noy Sabilano. I am the chief correspondent of Miss Earth Ground. And for tonight, I will be joined by my co-host for today. Let's all welcome Emmanuel Feliciano. Eman. Hello everyone, my name is Emmanuel and I will be your correspondent for today. Aside from um, having, not only having me tonight, I will also be waiting for your shout out requests, for your comments, and later when we give you the cue, please ask away, ask your questions so that you can interact with our very special guest for tonight. Back to you, Noy. There. Thank you very much, Emmanuel. So once again, we are already seeing a lot of the fans already watching. So I think now is the time for us to introduce our special guest for tonight, ladies and gentlemen, fresh from her coronation as Miss Earth Nigeria 2020. Let's all welcome Gwen Soma Efanyeze. Hi, Gwen. Hello, good afternoon. It feels so good to be here. To my fellow Nigerians, hello. To the Philippines, Mabuhai, how are you doing? I hope you all are having a beautiful day. Wow. Yes. Mabuhai as well, Gwen. Thank you very much for gracing our um, channel, our uh, page to, um, tonight. Um, first, we'd like to say congratulations because you have been officially crowned as Miss Earth Nigeria 2020. First, we would like to ask, how do you feel right now? Thank you very much. I feel so excited. I mean, it has been like a dream come true. And I'm so grateful that this day has actually come. So I feel so excited. At first, I was kind of nervous. And I was like, oh my God, are you sure I'm really going to get this? I was having a mixed feeling at the beginning. But towards the end of the competition, I was tensed. And on hearing the results, I got so excited. And I kept, I was jumping up. I was so excited. I was just all over the place. So yes, I, I, feel, I feel really good. I feel so that is really great to hear Gwen and again um thank you for gracing I think this is your very first interview right your very first okay. interview as the, the official Crown, of course. yes mm -hmm. thank you very much for giving us this first interview as the Miss thank Earth Nigeria so. 2020 there thank you but yes um we're going to have a lot of segments and a lot of questions uh for our special guests for tonight but before that I would like to turn it over to Emmanuel to see what's happening on the comment section. Eman, what's happening there? Yes, wow. It's just we just started our broadcast, but the comment section is already very, very hot. There are a lot, there's a lot of activity happening in our comment section right now. So let's go to some of them. Okay. There you go. So we have from um Buzor. He says, Yes, we are here. So there you go. Yes, finally we are here. So thank you very much for watching. Our Miss Philippines um, Earth, uh, one of our Miss Philippines Earth Queens, Gianna. Hello, Gianna, our lovely Gianna. Always supporting, always watching. Hi, Gianna. She says, Gwen is a queen beyond compare. So, so proud of her. Thank you thank very you much. Gianna. There you go. Thank you very much. Oh, say Bruno Hassel says, yes, raising the flag of Nigeria. Okay, and um, um, Dera, um, Ifanyeze Oluka says, Gwen, we are here with you. Make us proud as usual. Who is Dera? That's my elder sister. Wow. Oh, hi, Dera. Yes. Oh, you're one of me and your elder sister. Hello, Dera. Thank you very much for um, supporting us. Uh, uh, Ibina Bo says, Vava Boom. Yes, Gwen is looking so beautiful. Looking so Thank beautiful, you. we agree. Thank and 
Thank you. And Suzette Lapitan says, it's time for Africa and Nigeria for the earth. We agree. I'm very hopeful. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Another very avid supporter of Miss Earth Crown, Gab Gabrielle Bernars, uh, Bernal says, we love you, Gwen. And we all do. Thank you, Thank Mr. Gabriel. Yes. Wow. We have so much. Okay. Do we need, uh, do we read more of them? Maybe two more. Okay. Chica Hale says, Baba Boom also. And another one, Jay. Okay. Jay says, watching from the Philippines. We oh. love you, Gwen. We, you actually have a lot of Filipino fans, Gwen. Yeah. Yes, yes. A lot of people about it i'm really grateful for you so for us from the philippines i have so many nigerian fans from the philippines as well so i'm really grateful for your support thank you so much i appreciate it thank you there you go thank you so much and thank you jay who we have a lot of comments already but we will be reading some of the other comments later on all right so back to you noi there so again thank you to all of our fans who have already placed their comments there are a lot Gwen, there is a lot of support for you tonight. So congratulations for that. It's going to be a fun Thank night. And to Thank all of our fans, continue watching and placing your comments for our special guest for our interview tonight. Now, we are going to start a little bit of fun. Okay, We're going to start a little bit of fun with our special guest with our first segment, which is what we call Two the Truths yes. and a Lie. Okay, mm -hmm. I think a lot of our fans are familiar with this game. So we're going to start off with a really fun game with our special guest. So what's going to happen is that Queen Gwen right here is going to state or mention three statements. And Eman and I, and also all of the fans right now, can guess which of the three statements are true and which one is not true or it's the lie. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to try to discover. Yes, okay. So Gwen, are you ready for this yes. one? Sure, I am. Yes, okay, great. So let's hear your three statements. Okay. okay. My first statement is, I started singing at the age of 10. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, my second statement is, I am a lover of fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. And the third statement is, I am so scared of aquatic environment. So aquatic yeah, three environment. Okay. Mm. Yeah. So you started okay. singing at a very young age. Mm -hmm. And then the second one again is? You love vegetables, right? Vegetables is that it? Yes. And then you are scared of aquatic environment. Hmm. So yeah, now okay. let's think. Okay. So and to add your me first, me first, me first. Okay, may I okay, think that ahead. I think the two truths there. It is true that you love vegetables because I have seen your Instagram. <laughs> I have wow. seen your Instagram. You love okay. um, planting vegetables, so I think you also love eating vegetables as well. That's the truth, and I okay. think you are also. Afraid of aquatic um, environment. Okay. That's the two truths. And then my lie is that you started singing at the age of 10. Wow. Mm. Let's nice see. <laughs> okay, so over to you. Huh. Emma. I, I saw the Instagram too, so I think he really loved fruits and vegetables. Um, I don't know, but maybe for me, I think number three is the lie. I think I, I think you are yeah I think you're a great singer and you started very young, I think number three will be the lie. Hmm. How about you guys? What do you think? What do you think is the the truth and the lie? So Gwen says she started singing, um, from from a very young age. She loves fruits and vegetables and she's afraid of aquatic, the aquatic environments. So, what do you think is the answer? What is the Lie. So now, Gwen, yes. please give us the answer. Oh my God! So we have different answers, Noi. Right? You answer. <laughs> yes, yes. Mine is number one. Mine is number three. Yes. Let's see. So, okay, so, Gwen. Um, I'm happy to say that Noel got it wrong, and Iman got it <laughs> correct. 
yes i started singing oh at the age of 10 at a very tender age because i grew up in a musical environment where my parents are choristers they sing with the choir and also my siblings because in my family i'm the last i'm the last child of my family and i was born into a music a musical environment so i started singing at a very young age and music has always been my passion it's something i've always loved doing even when i'm bored or when i feel like i feel down or i feel sad once i start listening to music or once i sing i feel better so yes i'm a lover of music and i started singing at the age of 10. Oh. yay oh. so one point for airman yeah <laughs> and then of course obviously you love um yes and also one point for some of our fans like melvin said number three is the lie and you are correct melvin and of course um, Gwen's elder sister, Dera, says the lies that she's afraid of aquatic environment. Okay, there you go. Yeah, and definitely number three, Buzor says also number three. Okay, there you go. Wow. Thank you. One point for me. <laughs> Wait, we have one more round. We have one more round because Gwen, I think, prepared another set of three statements. I will have to score this, right? I will have to get this right. So, okay. Gwen, are you ready? Yes, I am. Are, are you ready okay. with your last three statements? Okay. Yes, I am. Okay, okay. so My take it away. Okay. okay. My first statement is, I love watching horror movies. Mm -hmm. Love watching horror God movies. Okay, and the second is, I speak little German. A little bit of German, okay. Yes. And the third is, I was trained by my grandmother. So those three. You were trained by your grandmother? Yes. Okay. <laughs> hmm. To all of our fans, maybe you can already answer, all right? Yeah, they're Eman starting Emmanuel, to... Emmanuel yeah. what is your answer? So I'll, I'll go first. I have yeah. a feeling that the, the the truths there are that uh, Gwen can speak a little bit of German. I think that's true. And Gwen was trained by her grandmother. I think that's true. And the lie is uh, that she likes horror movies. Oh, okay. How? Okay. Yes. I think. Me, I, th I think I'm going to agree with Emmanuel. Really? Emmanuel? Yes. Because <laughs> wow. I, I want to score. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we I, have I, I comments think... from. From the audience or should i just spill the answer oh uh, yes. wait you have um buzor um we, the only comment is okay this one is hard <laughs> <laughs> and melvin says number one is the lie okay, mm. okay nice yes. markley markley our editor-in-chief also says number one is a lie okay so let's see gwen what is the answer <laughs> okay, sorry to say, but you all are wrong. Ah, oh, what? That's the next track. You must say, but okay, it's just like the first. The first two sentences are correct, while the last is wrong. Oh, I see. I see. Oh. Okay. So, so you you love horror movies? I yes. love horror movies a lot. Yes. Why? <laughs> I love horror I movies love too. It. I love <laughs> horror movies too. Because of the fear, let's just say because of the fear, like um, when I'm watching it and I'm like scared, I get to laugh at myself like, why am I scared? Like, it's not like it's real, it's not here. I mean, it's on my screen and I'm all scared and shaking, but that, that's just what I love about it. And it's something I can watch any, any moment of the day, morning, afternoon, at night, I'm ready to watch it anytime, any day. So that is what I love about horror movies. Uh, yes. I don't find it boring, yeah. it. yes, so. <laughs> There wow. you go. Interesting. Thank you very much. Well, actually, nobody got it correct because also Catherine says number two is the lie. Sorry, Catherine. <laughs> and then um, there's a nice comment here, um, Gwen, actually. Jay gave the wrong answer. He said, number one is the lie, but I'm telling the truth that she does. She's looking beautiful tonight. Thank That's you. what Jay said. And you are, my God, right? Yes, yes, there you go. Thank you so much. Okay. Wow, that was a fun starter, Noi, right? Yes. So I'm sure I'm sure you might be guessing why I'm looking like this this afternoon. 
because yes, we would like to know. We want to yes, know yes, why. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, I actually have a shoot today, but I said to have this live session first before I go on with my shoot. Oh. Yes, yes, I have a shoot for an environmental kind of awareness. It's talking about the foundation here in Nigeria. It's a net. It's 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 called Woko Foundation. That's Woko Malaria Foundation Network. So it's it's all about how um, we curb malaria here in Nigeria. So he was one of my sponsors during the national pageant, and this is the outfit that I'm going to use for the for the um, pictures. Yes, the picture. because today is World Mosquito Day. Oh, that is it. Right. Oh, okay. That is right. Well, amazing. Well, thank you so much for doing the interview first before your shoot. Thank yes, you so yes, much. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And I'm happy to be here as well. Yes. We are thank happy you. that you are here. Yes. Okay. So that concludes the first part only of yeah. our special interview with Queen Gwen, our Miss Earth Night Year 2020. To all of our fans, thank you for participating. To all who got the correct answers, congratulations. I didn't get any, so bad luck for me. <laughs> Better luck next time. So, before we move on to the next part, um, maybe, Eman, would you like to also flash more of the Facebook Live fan questions or yes, comments yes, from yes. our... Um... I, have a lot. I, have, I have to, like, backtrack um, yes, yes. Good because we have so much. Oh, actually, a lot of them were all, like answers to the answers to the questions but like before that let's show first yes one of the uh, most popular figures in philippine pageantry a very popular pageant trainer in the philippines mr rogel flores tito rogel hello hi tito rogel hi hello thank you so much okay and then we also have um Oh God, a lot. And then yes, uh, represent Nigeria. Love the outfit, says Jay. Jay says, loving the outfit. Thank you very much, Jay. Mm -hmm. And then Thank one you. of our Miss Earth Crown staff, Remmer says, you look like Kelly Rowland. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah, you hold your own actually. So Kelly Rowland, the styling of um, Destiny's Child. Okay, okay. here. This outfit is out it's actually, typical African because it's more like I'm using this platform and opportunity to promote the African culture because I'm proud to be an African woman and I'm so there proud you to go. have colored skin. Yes. That's why that's why Jay also said proudly representing her country Nigeria. Love the outfit. So thank, thank you. you very much for thank you for representing and thank you for showing that um showcasing the culture. Okay and um, Buzor, um Uzoma uh, says so much personality such a queen it's definitely time for africa definitely time for nigeria nigeria for the crown gwen for miss earth right thank you so much Buzor, for saying that yeah joko says bring home the crown and uh, a lot. yes i'm definitely i think um gwen is definitely on 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 her way to bringing home the crown and then um down here oh gosh a lot of comments and then we also have here bruno just flashed um the flag of africa just how uh, how how beautiful is that right okay yes and um from bruno also gwen is unique and i believe she will emerge miss with the miss earth 2020 title yes thank, thank you very you. much so far that's our comments for now okay back okay. to you Nora. Okay, so thank you to all of our fans. Thank you for like flooding our comments with your love and support for our guest for tonight. But we will have to move on to our second segment. Okay, mm -hmm. our second segment now is something that we do at uh, Miss Earth Crown to discover a little bit more about our guest through pictures. Okay, all right. so this is what we call picture perfect. Yes, okay, so um. Alternately, Emmanuel and I are going to show the picture and we are going to ask our guest tonight to tell a story or a special memory behind the picture. 
Okay, so Gwen, are you ready to see the first picture? We got this from your Instagram, actually. <laughs> I am, so you've been stalking me. <laughs> yes. Apologies for that. <laughs> no, sorry. I'm very okay. sorry. Maybe Emma can introduce the first picture. Yes, so here's our first picture-perfect photo. Tell us a little story or a little something about this, Gwen. Beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. Okay, this particular picture was taken sometime last year towards the Christmas break. So um, I was supposed to have a shoot with my friends and my colleagues, but it didn't quite work out well. So I said to go in for a collaboration. One of my friends was, he just started the whole photography new. So mm -hmm. he was like, okay, why don't we have a, a collaboration? Let's try out something high school. And so I was like, okay, yes, I, I have something like this. I have an outlook like this. So let us try it out. And boom, came out well. So that's the story behind it. it, it definitely. It's so good. It's so good. Thank so you. thank you very much for that. That was last uh, Christmas season. Thank you. Yes. Okay. Noi? Okay. Let's have our second photo. Okay. Picture perfect is wow. Actually, Gwen, this is one of my favorites from your Instagram. Maybe you can tell us a story behind this photo. Okay. So um, this picture here is the first competition we had, the first segment of the competition we had in the national pageant, and it's called COVID African Craze Fashion Outfit. So we were asked to make something, we were asked to make a, a COVID Craze Fashion Outfit, like something very fashionable as well. So I started to come up with something like this, of course, with my crew, with my team. So um, I, as I said earlier, among the truths and the lies, I'm a lover of water. I like going to visit the beach. And so I said to make a beach outfit. And this is a typical beach outfit. So in the process of trying to prevent ourselves from getting affected or infected from the virus, I also love water and outfit. The back here is where I keep my fruits, my vegetables. I, mm -hmm. I, I told you I love taking fruits and vegetables. So my, my personal accessories, my wallet, my phones, everything is just inside the bag. Then the outfit is just to portray Africanism, to promote African culture as well. So let's make a beach wear having an African, you know, touch up to it. So that's right. Nice. Yes. And I was actually, I actually got a gold medal for this particular Yes. Outfit. And that was congratulations thank you <laughs> yes yes actually um personally when i watched the that segment for mm -hmm. miss earth nigeria and i should say that was one of my most favorite segments during the virtual competition because number one really creative outfits and number two it's also one good way of like promoting safety during this time of covid 19 through fashion, of course. Very fashionable um, creation. So congratulations for winning a gold medal for this. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Now, from this winning outfit, let's move on to our next photo. Here we go. Look at that. Tell us something about this. Okay. This was actually taken in one of the segments of the national pageant as well. Mm -hmm. So it's called the beauty of face, where you have to show your your face without much makeup, to see the you know your stru the structure of your face, to you know how maybe how beautiful you are or how well structured your face is. So this is one of the outfits, and I love this hairstyle because it brings out my face very well. You get to see the side, the front, you get to see the facial structure very well. So that was why I chose this hairstyle, and as you can see in the picture, I'm looking babyish. Let me use that word. So I'm looking very young and I like this picture because I love simplicity as well. I love mm -hmm. looking simple most times and I don't I'm not really a fan of so much makeup unless maybe it's for a professional, maybe a shoot or something yeah. like that, a dinner out out in, or something like that. So that was the story behind this. And I well there was no result for this particular outfit for this particular competition, I'm sorry. But mm -hmm. I I think and I hope I know I did well. <laughs> I think so. So yes. You did, yeah. You did very well. Actually, you are so beautiful with all the makeup, but look at this very natural um, look. You are so beautiful as well, even without the makeup. So we no wonder you won uh, Miss Na Miss Earth Nigeria this year because, you know, like, you know, 
have everything. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> and we have, I think, one more photo. And I think this yes. is one of the highlights of the competition. <laughs> wow. Golden <Okay>. girl. <laughs> yes, well, what's the story behind this? Well, this is actually, I really wish this was my winning dress because, um, well, this is not what exactly I was wearing on the day I was crowned. But mm. it was one of the segments of the competition as well. That it was a long gown competition. And I chose this dress because it's, it's, it's beautiful and it's simple at the same time. So the, mm. the truth behind this is that I actually took this shoot two times. I did the first one. I was not so satisfied because I was like, okay, I'm not really sure I like this video because we were asked to submit a one minute video for this part of the competition. But on watching the video, I didn't really like what I was seeing. So I had to move the shoot to early, like the following day, early in the morning. I called a different videographer and he made a better video and it was looking really amazing. I was so happy and proud of myself. I mean, yes, it's beautiful. Yes, I think I can submit this now. So. And I'm happy to also. Yay! Amazing. Amazing. We, again, a, a really great um, gown again, a really great dress again. When congratulations for winning. Um, I think one again another medal for this one, right? Mm hmm There. Okay. So that ends our picture perfect segment. Okay. Yes. Um, so maybe before we move on, Eman, uh, maybe you can also take a look again at the fan comments, right? Uh, a lot. If you tell a me to take again. a look at the fan comments, you're asking me to like prepare because there's a lot of fan okay, comments. Okay, okay. So we have, for example, um, Florence, yes. Oh, I wonder um, what is Florence's relation to Gwen because she's also an Ifaniese. So Florence says, keep it. Oh, my daughter. So is this is this um Gwen's mom? Hi hi Miss um Mrs. Ifanyeze. Okay, hi, mommy. So Florence Ifanyeze keeping shi keeping shining my daughter. We lost Gwen for a little bit, but I think she will yeah, come yeah. back. Okay. So Gwen looking so beautiful from uh Ola Jumoke Becca. And she is so beautiful, right? Okay, another person who who, who has the same name as me, Emmanuel Abanobi. We love Gwen. She's just a humble. You know what? Actually, um, talking with her, we, we actually feel the humility. And that humility will actually bring her higher, you know, in the yes, competition. Yes. So very good. Very good. Okay. And then we also have um, another comment from ooh, Dera. Dera says, I love the outfit. I wonder which outfit you're talking about. So there you go. Hmm. Jay, yes. yes. Hope to see you here in the Philippines. Maybe one of these days, hopefully they can come over. Yes, mm. and yes, Buzor says there is beauty in simplicity. And we agree, that, yes. Right? So if we saw Gwen in her um shoot outfit um showcasing um, Af um traditional African culture, Nigerian culture, and she's all made up and she's so beautiful. But in that photo that we saw from the Beauty of Face um, preliminary competition, we proved that she's beautiful on natural. She's also beautiful without makeup. And that is really, really good. Okay. Yes. And um, Suzette says she's a very natural beauty. And of course, Dara repeats her Hello. claim. It's time for Africa and it's time for Nigeria as well. Okay. Ah, I love it. Okay. There you go. Ibin, uh, Ibinabo says, Miss Earth Air, Becca. Oh, Miss Earth Air is, uh, Becca is also watching. Hello, Becca. Thank you very much for watching. Yes. Okay. Hi. Thank you. Right. There you go. Yes. And we also have, um, there you go, Ibinabo. No better place to be than here. Okay. Gwen is back. There you go. We're reading the comments right now. There, there. We are reading the comments right now. And so many beautiful comments for you. So Catherine says, hello. Hope you're having a wonderful evening. And Starla is asking. Starla says, can we ask questions for her? Yes, Starla, you can ask questions for Gwen later. 
we will have a separate segment for the Q&A. Yes. So please stand by. And when we tell you to ask your questions, please type them in. Okay? So you can ask the question. And last, before we go to the next segment, Gwen is beautiful. Gwen is unique. Gwen has good communication skills. Gwen is bold. Gwen is just so perfect for the <laughs> Gwen is the best. Amazing, Bruno. Thank you very much for that. All right. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We have so many questions. Thank you so much. Back to you, Noy. Okay. So to all of our fans, we're going to have a chance to ask your questions in a little bit. But then for now, um, we would like to put the spotlight on our queen from Nigeria right now because we yes. want her to have an opportunity to talk about her advocacy as Miss Earth Nigeria. Okay? So first, when uh, uh, I, I think we ask you to prepare at, at least an item for for this segment to best symbolize what you want to um what you want to accomplish or what you want to support as a cause as Miss Earth Nigeria. Maybe you can show us this item right now. Okay. So this is what I have here. Oh, amazing. So this is what I have here. Mm -hmm. Tell us about see, it. This is, this is called putrescible waste. Mm -hmm. They're also called biodegradable waste because they have to decay. Mm -hmm. And they decay. They... Okay. So when they decay, they have the ability to form what we call a compost, which is very important. This is supporting life on Earth with the use of putrescible waste. Mm. So this, what inspired me about is because I've always been a lover of nature ever since I was a child. I grew up in an environment where my parents practiced such agriculture, where we grew up. In a, for example, generate like two million tons of waste annually. It's very bad because it's to help one of the Africa. So because we have the ability to separate our, we don't really practice waste management. It's effective how it ought to be. So that will help me to to, to this part of an advocate, choose an advocacy which is outside my passion as well. I've always engaged myself in crops at home, and this is also a means of reducing waste generated in my home. So my advocacy focuses on the reduction of this and using them to generate compost in tree planting. Mm -hmm. For us to live a simple and healthy lifestyle by producing our own food. And this waste can be gotten from different sources, from the markets, from our homes, from the kitchen, for example. Because some day now oh, yeah. <laughs> in somehow yes but when this was i was i told you enough fruits and vegetables so this is what i gathered from the remains of the fruit and vegetables even the food i took last night uh, even the food i even the one i took it, just the remains from the plate so they're all put together and they're stored in this little country i just brought out a piece of them to make it look because if I show you the actual bean, it looks really irritating and disgusting. I would say. But that is what I think for. That is what I love doing. So using them to plant trees because they help in the compost is used in producing of which are very healthy to crop. Help in aerating the soil. Soil very easy to add or to, to take in enough nutrients as well and also water nutrients from soil. So this compost very important and they can be used in producing good or healthy fruits or healthy fruits as well because at home if you have watched your country as you said this stops my so if it's the country where i have my mom mm -hmm. it's different, different no, it's not different. You get to see some plants and all around the place so that's what we practice in our home and using it to 
compost, which is good for, which is used in producing thick manure, something I, something I do, and I encourage people to do the same because it helps our waste. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. That's actually a really good um, advocacy. Um, we are actually very happy that you shared that, um, Gwen. And actually, um, the reason I asked you to share that with us, it's because I also saw your Instagram um, your Instagram page. Um, and I think it's all about GPT. Yes. I think you have a separate Instagram yes. page for GPT. Maybe you can share with us what exactly what is, is GPT Enterprise? And what is that? Um, what is the importance of that enterprise for you? Okay, the enterprise that when the trustable team enterprise. So it's not doing almost a year that I've been into that project. All about my mental advocacy. Focusing mm -hmm. things. First of all, it focuses on the ability to reduce the amount of waste generated in our immediate environment. That is being able to your your putrescible waste from the non putrescible and gathering this putrescible using them in crop production. And at mm -hmm. the same time, it also focuses on the use of this waste to produce your own food. We practice mm -hmm. agriculture in your so being a producer of your own food, you can get a simple and a healthy lifestyle. Because as I told as I told you earlier, we produce few of in my who produce yam, ginger, garlic, turmeric, even oil wow. produce at home. That helps us in living a simple life lifestyle where you don't really have to go much on obsessive items in the market. Then thirdly, it's also a means of reducing the rate of unemployment in our environment. Now this project in order to let people know more about the use of biodegradable I said as, as a small scale, it's, 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 it's not so yet. It's something I hope that it will be with this platform. So um, it talks more about when farmers come to buy this compost, this organic manure, because they use it in producing their own food, they use it in growth in their own thing. So when they come to buy this organic manure, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. money gotten from the farmer, I, I use to give out incentives to those who bring their waste because I carried out a little, I carried out a little campaign for people to know more ways. And if we can get their weight, they don't have much to do in the environment. Just dumping it in landfills or increasing the rate of envir the environmental pollution keeps increasing. So they get out this, bring them to my own environment, in my own home, and I give them incentives to promote them and to encourage them that, yes, this is what they should be doing. And of course, they could use that money. They, could, they could use that, let's, let's say, the tip, or yes, I told you I give them incentives. They could use it to solve little problems. And in the in the sense of using the base of environment, I I I got to bring few workers. I had just have fifty to twenty workers working for me currently. Because as I told you, it is not so big yet. It's something that I hope to get. So being able to pay few people in my community for a couple of months, yes, it's a way of reducing the rate of unemployment. So you can imagine establishing this particular this particular work all around mm -hmm. the country. It could help right. to reduce the rate of unemployment in our, in our country. So mm -hmm. that's yes, that's actually a really, um, a really great tip from you, um, Gwen. Now I would like to flash something. Um, this is actually your final uh, your final answer to the final question at Miss Earth Nigeria 2020. Maybe you can, maybe you can explain a little bit more this answer because this is a really great answer and this is something about um, your viewpoint about climate change. So allow me to read this one. My greatest misconception on our fight against climate change is seeing it as a future problem and blaming others. Our future is now, and we all should get ourselves involved maybe you can explain a little bit more what do you mean by this answer about climate change okay so uh, i choosing this was because initially i without being part of 
the Miss Earth organization or getting to understand more about the Miss Earth platform. I always felt that always climate change has always been existing, even the burning of coal and oil. And I always regarded it as it's their problem. It's not my problem. Like I know I'm, I'm just at home. I don't really have to contribute much or even if I'm to say something, it's not really going to be effective. I mean, it's not something that can be, that, that I, I felt like my voice could not be heard. So mm -hmm. I didn't tell for of who, 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 who engage in this climate change. So I always, I always blamed people for doing it. I always saw that, yes, it's their problem. It's not my problem. So I others, but coming to the Miss Earth platform, coming to the Miss Earth Nigeria platform, Mm -hmm. Okay, so yeah, so um, is Gwen still there? I think uh, we lost Gwen a little bit, but yes. So Emma, yeah, you, you can still hear. You can still hear me, right? Yes. So yes, um, yes. maybe yeah. Okay. So is Gwen still there, Gwen? Okay. So maybe while we're waiting for Gwen to um, uh, stabilize her internet connection. Um, again, I, I would like to um really say that this has been a really great answer to that final question because right. when we talk about climate change we cannot really prevent ourselves from saying that it has been the fault of the earlier generation or the generation mm -hmm. that came before mm -hmm. us it's really about taking uh taking um taking initiative to really um take responsibility for what is happening with the world today and it's not really about um pointing fingers and blaming others for the problem. It's really about taking the initiative to do something about it because this is something that we have to deal with as a one community and as one world. So this is a really great answer for Gwen. Now, while we're waiting for Gwen to actually come back again, um, apologies for our viewers because um, I think Gwen is having some technical problems with her internet, but she, I think she's um, coming back in a little bit. But before... Yes. Yeah, while we're waiting for her uh, to come back, um, maybe we can co uh, go back to the Facebook Live comments. Yes. And maybe Because, again, Emma, um, the reason we um, actually wanted to invite Miss Earth Nigeria, it's because of the tremendous support from all of the fans worldwide. So we want to like acknowledge that. So maybe we can that's true. Um, take a look at the fan comments for our yes, Queen Gwen. Especially um, the support of the fans from Nigeria. Not only are they very supportive, of Gwen and of the Miss Earth Nigeria organization, but they're also very passionate and supportive of Miss Earth itself. So thank you very much to our fans from Nigeria and also our Filipino supporters and supporters of Gwen and Miss Earth Nigeria from around the world. So we have been cheering for uh, Miss Earth Nigeria, especially during the entire competition. So thank you very much. Okay. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Um, I part okay, there you go. So, yes, and and I love the fact that even though there's a difficulty in internet connection, the, the fans are still tuning in. Yes, and other yes, yes. Like Ruzor said, I particularly love your advocacy because it's um, of its practicability and it serves a dual purpose. That is right, right? Aside yes. from not wasting the 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 food, you also get to use it to enrich your planting and your agriculture. So that's very, very good. Yes. And actually, Emma, I'd like to invite our fans because Gwen has a separate um, Instagram account for her advocacy, um, the GPT Enterprise. So check out her Instagram account because she has posted a lot of photos that really shows that she has been working really hard about, uh, really working hard on her advocacy there. So mm -hmm. Queen Gwen is back. There. Yes, the GPT. Oh, GPT. Oh, no, I'm really so sorry. I'm, I'm very sorry. It's, it's fine. It's oh. perfectly fine. We understand. Yes. It's yes. okay. Thank no you. problem. So we, yes. We were inviting our yes. supporters to support also your GPT Enterprise um, yes, page yes, yes. on Instagram. Yes. And Buzor says that he loves your advocacy because it's practical and it serves yes. a dual purpose. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, um, Uche rejoices. We love Gwen and we support you all the way. And I agree with Jenny Vive when she says, Our future is now and we must act now to save our planet. We agree. 
There you go. And our, of course, Zanny is here. Hello, Zanny. Zanny says, Hi, Zanny. Hello, Mr. Niger 2020. And hello to the Miss, uh, the Miss, the Miss Earth Crown team as well. There you Hi, go. Hi, Zanny. You, Zanny. All the time. All the time. Thank you very much. Yes. Okay. There you go, Noy. There. Okay. So, um, so maybe um, when um, are, are you already stabilized? Is your internet uh, cooperating already? Or are you back? A little bit. <laughs> yeah. I'm stable still right now. Yes. Okay. But that is okay. Yes, because we are about to um, we're about to ask like a couple of a couple more questions, and then we're going to like do the final leg of the interview. Right. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So if you are trying to fix, because you're kind of yeah, you're kind of freezing right you... now. But if we if we can hear you, that's fine too. Yes, yes, yes. You. That's okay. We, can hear you. There you go. Yes, very and we good. can okay. hear you clearly, so, so that's okay. So our yes. our fans have already seen how beautiful you are. So now, it's more important for us to hear you because you are yes. very very yes. important, and very inspiring. So yes. now let's and go speaking, to. Mm. Yes, and speaking of fans, Emma, my my last question to to Gwen is about the fans. Okay, because. Okay. Um, I was I was really happy to to see the tremendous support from the fans, not only from Nigeria but also from from different parts of the world. Um, I mean, just right after Gwen was um, was proclaimed as the winner last weekend, mm -hmm. as in the outpour of support for Gwen was really big. It was really gigantic. I would like to ask Gwen, how do you feel that 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 support of your family? friends and fans all over the world is really that big when you won Miss Earth Nigeria 2020. Well I thought yeah and I still feel very happy I'm getting all the support I need. I mean initially I thought it was just my my family, friends and then fans. I thought it was just a few guys. But the support I'm getting of that is so big like I'm like wow are you serious? That how serious this is I was really excited about getting global support. I mean, from different parts of the country, especially from based and here in my country, Nigeria. So mm -hmm. it really gives me enough encouragement for me to push on and to fight that yet to get a better, a better world and a great future. Because it's not just about now that we're looking, we're also looking at the future. And we have to fight to ensure that we have a very conducive environment for our future generation. And it's not just my work, but all of us, like the whole country, everyone in the world, got access and our responsibility to make sure that we have a clean, better, and healthy environment. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's true. We totally I agree. agree. And I think, um, I think Emmanuel is going to agree with me. I think more than your beauty and your in incredible performance during the finals of Mr. Nigeria, it's really, it's really your sincere intention to protect the environment and to like really support your advocacy which is like um really using that as a platform to really further your your cause as mr nigeria i think that's what the fans made uh, i think that's what the fans really love about you it's your sincerity to like right. your cause and accomplish things during your reign so we are really happy with that thank you we are really happy with that and Speaking of that, actually, um, we are going to now look at some of the questions, right? Mm -hmm. And since Gwen, um, we can hear Gwen now, we can move now to the questions from the fans. Okay. Yes, there we you go. There. Yes, we have some questions. One of them is from Alexis Franklin, and Alexis wants to ask, what does beauty for a cause mean to you? Okay. Well, beauty for a cause. To me, what I can understand by this particular um, quote is that it's all about using your being useful for your reason. Not just that you're beautiful or you just you just look or you're somewhere in the environment and beautiful. It's for you that for a cause. You should learn to do something for your environment. Mm -hmm. That's what it means for means with beauty for a cause. You have a particular thing that you're looking out for, a way to change your environment in a positive way, of course. That's beauty for a cause. 
There you go. Yes, yes, yes. It's not just about beauty. There's a particular vision, a particular thing that you are looking for. And that is, of course, preserving the environment, not just by being beautiful. Thank you so much. That is a good answer, Gwen. Thank you. Okay, now let's ask uh, a question from Carmelo Tui. Carmelo says, oh, this is very timely. He asks, what are your preparations now for the coming virtual pageant? Other than, of course, just staying there in one place, you know, because you cannot really go up, go out of the country. So what are your preparations for the coming virtual pageant? Okay, well, initially, I didn't expect it to be virtual because mm. at first, I thought it was going to be a, a performance. So it was not really so easy during the national pageant, but thank God I overcame that. And getting to know that this this year's Miss Earth 2020 is going to be virtual. I don't really have much problem because to me, it's still the same. Without being crowned virtually or being crowned live, they are still the same because we know we have something to offer to the environment. So um, personally, for my preparations, um, I, I think I'm almost ready because I have my outfits almost ready. And the competition is starting next month. So that's towards the end of the, towards the end of the next month. And I'm actually right. rehearsing for my talent. But of course, you have an idea of what I'm going to do for my talent, as you already know, part of my, yes, mm -hmm. there's something about me. So, yes, I'm really getting ready <laughs> for the competition starting next month, and I'm so excited about it as well, yes. This is going to be a very good talent competition, Noi. A lot of talented singers, right? And exciting, yes, really exciting. I think it's going to be a grand show during the I talent feel competition like yeah, for I Miss Earth 2020. Like Yes, right. we, are, we, can't, we can't wait, Gwen, to see your talent on uh, mm. on the finals. Yes. Mm -hmm. I, I guess every every single one should have a talent. So I'm guessing you have a talent. So what's your talent, Noel? Oh. oh. Wow. Well, I love it. I love it. Um, Noi, I'm what's your first. talent? My, <laughs> my talent, um, I can sing. I can sing a little bit. I can dance a little bit. Right. Uh, wow. <laughs> um, but then right That's now I think my talent is more of like sleeping and eating at home because of the quarantine. <laughs> I, oh, I have done I, I have done exceptionally well in my talent and I have formed a career in sleeping and eating during the quarantine. So that's what I'm good at. You're so good <laughs> because of that. No, Gwen, Gwen Noy is just very humble. <laughs> what about you, Emma? What's your talent? <laughs> And um, they found it quite boring towards the beginning, not having anything to do, not going to work, not going to school. And most times they're like, oh, what do I, what can I do? Let me just sleep, <laughs> let me just eat and hope that things are better. So <laughs> I'm sure that's why your talent has moved from singing and dancing to sleeping and eating. Sleeping. Really? Wow. <laughs> Correct. So no. how about you, Iman? That is right. Oh, thank you for asking, Gwen. Actually, before I answer that, actually, Noy is a very good writer. He's actually a writer. And hosting, wow. he's a very good host. And yes. I think uh, my talent, I I, right, right? I Thank think my talent yes. would be singing and dancing. So because I, back home, I'm also a professional theater performer. So wow. I can sing yes. and I can dance. Nice. Actually, I'm you can really follow Emmanuel well on I'm TikTok. That went to the Philippines, right? Right, right. That's yes, true. Yes. That's right. <laughs> okay, that's so nice. Thank you. Look thank you, Gwen. Thank you. thank you for asking. That is so thank nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. That's so nice. Again, to all of our fans, a really gracious and really generous Miss Earth Nigeria 2020 is in our midst. Thank you that for is. your questions, mm -hmm. for asking us. And because you are so gracious and so generous, before we give you the floor to say your thank you message, we have a surprise for you. Mm -hmm. Our Miss Earth wow. Nigeria 2020. Okay, we have surprises. Okay. Yes, that, it's good. Sure. Because, because okay. we, um, we know that you have a lot of supporters from around the world. Yeah. We want to surprise you with this special video from your supporters not only from Nigeria, from but from around the world. Around so the let's world. watch this right now. Tell me if you can hear it, okay? Right. Here you go. 
We will act the act with her beauty. Gwen is passionate about her book, you see. She lost the air. It's time for Africa. It's time for Africa. Nigeria for the earth. The black Gwen. Gwen is passionate about her She loves the earth. It is time for earth. It's time for Africa and Nigeria for the earth. Gwen is love. It's no her is to her guy. Hashtag. Time for Africa, Nigeria for the earth. This earth and Nigeria is the best country to represent this earth. Gwen is the light and humble. Pastor Nigeria for this earth. I love this earth. It's time for Africa, Nigeria for the earth. It's not Gwen. Hey, Kripwan, good day. Uh, I'm so, 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 so happy. Like, I'm happy. So, hey, Kripwan, yeah. Miss Earth 2020 Nigeria, Gwen, is my short bet for Miss Earth. Trust me, that girl, I've been with her. She's a queen for that. She's just the queen for that. She's my short bet for you. She has very, very, very passionate advocacy for the Earth. She loves the Earth. I've been with her. Every, practically everything she said was actually about the Earth. So, please, let's support her. Queen Gwen. Well, it's just the love for me, Ed. Thank you. It's time for Africa, Nigeria for the Earth. Good luck, Gwen. We have the right person representing us in this year's Miss competition. Gwen is dedicated to her efficacy for a greener earth, and I believe she's going to do great. Congratulations, Gwen. You can do it because you have all it takes. So go for gold. Hashtag is time for Africa. Hello. The Earth has its cause, and Gwen Miss Earth 2020 has it in heart. Please support Miss Earth and Julia and support her advocacy. Should I tell you what you need to know about Gwen? Gwen is love. Gwen is great. Gwen is the queen that you need for Miss Earth. Okay. It's time for Nigeria to get that crown. Yes. Thank you. Time for Africa. Nigeria for the, the black queen. Where does it take to represent Nigeria and Africa? Because the crown is hard. It's time for Africa 2020. Ah, now we get that this time. Gwen <laughs> is true and passionate about her environment and Mother Earth. Let's give Africa a chance to change the views. So, it is time for Africa. It's time for Africa! Nigeria for the Earth! Good luck, Gwen! So guys, I started my little farm yesterday in my compound, all thanks to Gwen's advocacy on producing weight. And also, I have learned to separate food and weeds and use it as compost to plant and grow my um, crops, my flowers, my little, little stuff in the garden. And for this same cause, I really support Gwen for Miss Earth 2020 because I believe it's time for Africa and with Gwen, we can make that change. Thank you very much. Hi everyone, this is Ren from Manila, Philippines. I just wanted to show support and love for Miss Earth Nigeria, Gwen. I think that it's time for Africa to win Miss Earth 2020. It's time for Africa, Nigeria for the Earth. This is our team, boy! Oh, Wow. Thank you so much. There we go. Oh my yes. god, Gwen. We are... Queen Gwen, this is um a really touching time for you, a really heartwarming warming moment. What would you like to tell your fans, your family, and supporters after watching that in video? Do you have any message to them? I love you. All. like i'm so happy i'm getting enough support for this like it's so overwhelming oh my god like, i'm so happy but <laughs> so, like, 
Então, thank you so much. Thank you for Nigeria, Philippines, all the world. Like, this is massive. Thank you. And I will not let you all down. I will do my best for my environment and make all the best things. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Yeah. Town, for this great opportunity as well. I'm really delighted to be here today, and I'm so happy, and I hope to have more of these sessions with you as well. Uh, so thank you, Noel. Thank you, Noi. Thank, thank you. Thank you. you. <laughs> thank you. We, we, after chatting with you for an hour or so, we were able to not only know more about you, but um, we were able to look deeper into your heart, and that heart is so beautiful. And that yes. has for the earth. So we are so glad that you're here with us today. And I think I can speak um, for Emma as well. We are now fans of Miss Earth Nigeria 2020. I think when uh -oh. the fans when the fans said in the video that it's time for Africa, Nigeria for the, earth, for, for the earth. We are going to like we're going to root for you. We're going to we're not gonna be surprised if you're going to be the very first Nigerian to win the Miss Earth crown during the 20th historic yeah. edition of Miss Earth. So we cannot wait for your journey to unfold. This has been a really great moment. Uh, I hope you had fun That's and I hope fun. you enjoyed the, your time with Miss Earth crown. We, yes. Oh my God, we made Gwen cry. She has a shoot. <laughs> I know. So our apologies. Now, Emma, actually, before we, um, before we give Gwen... Yes, before we give Gwen like a, like a final, final um, spot to like say her thank you to everyone during her journey, I'd like to say thank you first to Gabriel Bernal. Gabriel yes. Bernal is her Q&A mentor. Actually, Gwen, mm -hmm. Gabriel is the one who like um, compiled all of the video greetings for us to play today. So, Gabriel, thank you for your support. You are the one at fault why Gwen is crying now. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Gabrielle. Yes. It is of my definition. So thank you, Mr. Gabriel. I'm really, I'm really grateful for this. Thank you. Yes. Now, um, Gwen, uh, since we have uh, already extensively talked about your journey and your plans, do you have anything else to say as the official Miss Earth Nigeria 2020? The floor is now yours, Gwen. Okay, well, I'd like to say a very big thank you to the Miss Earth Nigeria organization for seeing me or finding me worthy to represent the brand and represent Nigeria in the, nation, in the international patent. I also thank Mr. Gabriel for his help so far. I mean, he's been really helpful in terms of being intellectually sound and being able to represent well as well. I thank my national director, Mr. For this great opportunity, he's really like a mother to me, and I'm so, I'm so proud. Of thank you so much, Ma. And I also thank my family, of course, for the support so far. I thank my friends, my fans, and most importantly, my team because I have the best team, and I keep saying this from now to as you do. So thank you so much, and a very big thank you to the Philippines, the Nigerians, and the general global world as well so thank you so much for your support for your undying support really grateful right thank you thank you so much thank you wow once again ladies and gentlemen the magnetic and the possible miss earth 2020 from nigeria we, we're kind of claiming it now gwen chioma ifanyeze Thank you very much for gracing our channel and our page for tonight's special interview. And the best of luck on your journey towards the Miss Earth Crown 2020. Thank you very much. Now, before we end, um, Emmanuel, um, maybe you have something to, um, to share, to plug for our yes. upcoming interviews for the coming days. Right. Yes. Okay. So as part of our ongoing um um, series of, of coverage for Miss Earth 2020, we would like to invite you to um, join us in our upcoming interviews. And uh, tomorrow, actually, we will be interviewing Miss Earth Finland. And of course, please follow um, our platform, follow Miss Earth Ground on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and on Twitter. 
Thank you very much, everyone. No, yeah. Yes, and I have one Be more thing. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, sure, 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 yeah, sure. Maraming salamat po. Oh! Maraming salamat po. Maraming po kayo. Wow. Perfect. <laughs> that was perfect, Gwen. Thank you so much. Maraming salamat. And mahal ka Maraming salamat. salamat. Two lessons of that. Yes, definitely. So, I told you that one that I lost to visit the Philippines. So, I'm working towards that. Even if the partner is held virtually, I still have plans over the Philippines because we've had so many beautiful things happening there. So, yes, wow. thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so thank much. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you thank you very much. Too. And again, this has been a really great session um, amidst mm -hmm. all of the challenges. This has been a really great interview. And I Turtle. think this is not going to be the very last. We're going to have the beautiful Miss Earth Nigeria 2020. We have a feeling we're going to have you pretty soon in the coming months. Maybe with the crown on your head. We never know. Maybe it's really, it's really time for Africa. Nigeria. Maybe it's really time for Nigeria for the Earth. Oh, that's a good hashtag. Hashtag Nigeria for the Earth. Yes. That's a good hashtag. And okay. thank you to all of our fans, to all of our supporters, and to all of Nigeria's amazing people for watching us tonight. From the Philippines, maraming maraming salamat. This has been your host, Noy Sabilano. And in beha on behalf of my co-host, Emmanuel Feliciano, thank you, Eman, for being such a great co-host. And of thank course, you. to our beautiful Miss Earth Nigeria, Gwen, thank you very much to all of our fans. Maraming salamat. Stay safe and have a great day, everyone. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye! Bye-bye.